up guys Marlon here back with another massive Nintendo news video for you guys and girls today so let's not waste any time let's get right off into it and we're starting off with Kimishima the main man himself he's basically talking about that Nintendo is going to drop some more Nintendo switch games this fall Fall. This is really exciting news considering that their E3 conference wasn't that great and it didn't show us a lot of games that they had down the pipeline. So apparently we're going to be getting more Switch games sometime this year. I am smelling a Nintendo Direct is around the corner, possibly before the online service launch. We will see what's going to happen there. But leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And also they talked about them reaching 20 million units or over that uh, mark, which I do believe with Smash and Pokemon coming out. So we don't know what these games are going to be that is dropping this year. I'm probably thinking it may be some big triple a titles as far as first party stuff and third party announcements who knows let your imagination run wild in the comment section all right guys let's move on to the next part of the news video here so bayonetta 3 now we haven't got anything regarding bayonetta 3 recently and so apparently there's a uk amazon listing that indicates that it's supposedly coming out sometime fall of next year it's just a placeholder but also what's really important here to note that tokyo game show is just around the corner and nintendo is making an appearance there which they haven't made an appearance in like 10 years so they're actually coming back and um apparently this game is supposed to be shown there in tokyo game show maybe some gameplay or some new information or maybe in a release date on it we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens there for Bayonetta 3. All right, guys, let's move on to the semi to last part of the news video here. So, Infinity Ward Call of Duty 2019 job list and indicates that we should be getting uh, next gen systems, Xbox 2 and PS5 as early as 2019. Now, we heard Sony said that we're not gonna get anything regarding PS5 until 2020, so they might show off the xbox 2 and ps5 you know for e3 2019 and then it will release maybe fall that year or maybe 2020 but i don't i don't think that um we're going to be getting ps5 and xbox 2 next year i think it's going to be a 2020 thing maybe for the next call of duty they're actually developing it for the next gen system which is xbox 2 and ps5 but i don't know leave your thoughts down below it's kind of confusing but i don't see ps5 and xbox 2 coming out next year but who knows let your imaginations run wild in the comment section down below regarding this uh, new Call of Duty developed for next gen systems. All right, guys, we're approaching the last part here. So apparently this is really huge. Nintendo Switch online 90 day free trial kicks off in Japan with Splatoon 2 bundle. So if you're living in Japan and you want a Nintendo Switch, well, you can pick up the Splatoon 2 bundle. It will come with a 90 day free trial of the online membership and that's really huge there because then you can try it out for 90 days if you like it if you don't then you don't have to invest in it hopefully they bring this to the west maybe like a smash brothers bundle or maybe i don't know they try to bundle something maybe a pokemon bundle or something like that with the 90 day free trial i think that will sell like hot cakes all right guys that ends up today's news video if you enjoyed it please smash a staggering 150 likes let me know you guys want more news videos like this moving forward subscribe if you're brand new to the channel turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here and peace switch gang nation and wait before we go i will be streaming today for fourth of july just to hang with you guys and see what's been going on possibly play some games do an e-shop card giveaway love y'all we out of here